So we've got a very, very big show as I look uh, around the room. I'm not doing any of that until we get on with well, uh, There's a few issues to sort out. The lots. triple M box. Not a few. There are lots. Uh, Duck has swaggered in thinking he's oh. not a part of any of the issues. He just like, he, he just thinks he, he now oh. does believe he is the king. Right, so <laughs> yeah. we're going to find out where he is in the uh, scheme of things. Damo, I Hello, think, Jim. is probably going to cop it oh. because... Oh, uh, yeah. And he also thinks he's not going to. He thinks he's snuck out of well, I've got something to fight back with too, by the way. Bill, uh, go your hardest. Bill's claiming he's a man of the people, which just means he's a boring bastard. Yes, and I'm <laughs> new to the game, and, and I've been very good. But Bristle, I think we need to start. Yes. We, we need to yeah, clear the start air. start with me because I've got some stuff here. We cannot well, go... We can't start until we actually deal with Bristol's issues, Jim. Well, we oh. can't go any further as a show until we clear the air, <laughs> well, because no one's speaking to anyone. A, a lot of... walked in and just looked down at the ground, and it's very un-Triple M now. This is... I'm going to throw it to you to get started, Purple, but the great Shane Warne has uh, three or four uh, you know, things by which he lives his life. Yep. One of them is always get ahead of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a very Triple M thing to do to get ahead of ourselves. I think I you've think, uh, subscribed to that yourself, Jim. I think we've actually gone too far. I think you've oversubscribed, <laughs> I think we're, we've gone too far. I think you've far. overdosed. And our man here, our yep. main man, no, has, are we going to start with nah. him? Well, we are, because I think the fracturing that we've experienced this year to Damn this man. point of 2018 has a lot to do with you, B. We can cop being lied to mean? by people outside this box. Yep. We can cop being, I suppose, treated uh, ordinarily by people outside this box. But when it happens amongst the box itself, yes. it, it sets a scene and a theme that is hard to deal with. And for those who don't know what we're talking about, a recap of conversations you've had with us on the Saturday Rub in the past two weeks. Saturday, April 7th. You are required for camera purposes to basically get all gear off for recording oh. purposes for some thing and some reason and I haven't yet been able to establish as fact why but I know it's happening incorrect not true no 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 it's you're going to say it's incorrect incorrect for, not true for all of our sake I hope it is not true yeah. <laughs> if well, you don't take we, all your clothes right. off and Bristle is this why <laughs> you're in the gym pushing steel yes yeah. JB yeah. incorrect <laughs> not true all right. All right. you're not doing it by yourself but are there other pe- you're doing it with other people incorrect oh. not true <laughs> Saturday. You are getting completely Listen. stark as nude, oh, no. along with other people, oh, no. to commemorate the anniversary, I believe 20 years anniversary, of the movie The Full Monty, which oh, requires you oh, no. to get completely stark as nude. And oh, that is oh, what no. we've got to the bottom of this week. No, uh, that is totally false. Oh, oh Brian. <laughs> Peter, you lied last week. You can't lie twice in no. a row. Do you want me to answer it? Untrue, <laughs> false, <laughs> categoric, oh, no. no. Oh, no. So, BT, Probably. can you at least now say that you lied? No, no, look. Oh. <laughs> BT, we can't have this conversation that we yes. need to have as a group no, no. without you starting off by saying, I'm sorry I lied to I you. I lied. No, no, I'm, it, I'm not, I'm is not it, sorry for anything Brian, that I did. is it true when we just heard there that uh, we heard you've been lifting some iron and a lot of iron to get yourself fit for this uh, particular routine that you're denying? Mm. Now, I've heard of tennis elbow. And I've heard of tendonitis that you can get in your arms. But is it true that you believe that you have baby lifting syndrome <laughs> at the moment? Well, that is, uh, that is, that is true. But, baby uh, lifting syndrome. That's a, uh, I forget what it's called. It's a wrist uh, injury. <laughs> and I've had to have some uh, you cortisone are, injected. You uh, are kidding from me. From my man Zimmer. From what? From lifting from, weights? From uh, doing the benchies. Oh, <laughs> right. Doing the 70 kilo get yourself by fit. 10 reps. Is it also <laughs> true? Is it also true that during this, uh, well, dancing, that... Not going Todd well McKenney so far. Todd McKenney yes. got you to dance alone, just you and him one on one with no music because he wanted to see what sort of moves you had. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you, Brian, why don't you just say incorrect, just say, not say true. sorry for lying. And yeah, then that's, no. all I, that's all I need to say. Come no. on, Brian. No, is look, any of that true? No, let's get on I to the I can r- trace back. Just real before issues. you yes, finish Yes, Jim, it. what do you got? Oh, I'm tracing this back to the off-season. Oh. Uh, I don't think you had the best off-season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some photos circulated at the time oh. of Bristol wearing a onesie, a pyjama onesie <laughs> by the pool, <laughs> with a VB in his hands, <laughs> yep. looking like some weird-ass after-hour club member, <laughs> with his guts sticking out. and Brian. So they went everywhere. 
there. That, that was, was a favour. I don't care what it was. <laughs> I, I, got the, I got the feeling then that you'd really sort of lost your yeah, way. Yep. Then I see during the week uh, a photo of our man on in, on his own Instagram page wearing some <laughs> oh, sort of weird ass dressing gown. A bathrobe. He's, or, he's orange again. He's, and th- so therefore I look at that and I think, well, that's a man that's probably lost his yeah. way. What's going <laughs> on? Lifting weights, shaving down duck. Yes. Oh, no. Slippering. Agent orange all over himself. <laughs> orange. Turned into a real wanker who's <laughs> yep. drinking every bit of his own bathwater. <laughs> yeah. And I get inside mail from the people running Channel 7 that he's swaggering around saying oh. this reality show is all about me <laughs> and should be renamed BT. Nah, it's <laughs> Brian. not true. So, though, Brian. So, nah, it's not true. None of that's true. We like you as yep. a ro- the Romsey flyer to be a little more grounded than you've been in the last month or two. Yeah, well, you need I can a straight tell you, and I'm, I am the most grounded out of uh, the people in this is room. It, is mean, it true that you're a look you up there, Keith. Is it true that you're about to purchase oh, no. Roaming Brian? Oh, shut up. Oh, <laughs> off someone that has registered the domain name Roaming oh, Brian, no. and you have put an offer Bristle. in no. to purchase it. No. Back. Bristle. No. Is that yeah. true? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. <laughs> now, listen. Roaming now, Brian. listen. Oh. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> More hair man. Uh, Greg Matthews, Warney <laughs> style, plug uh, style, or just the old rug rats like Geordie Lewis, Guerra and Josh Walker, I can now exclusively oh, duck, no. yeah. tell our triple audience that a member of our team has decided against the more traumatic plugs and rugs approach <laughs> oh. that the others have opted for. And let's say this, uh, even ducks occasionally lose their feathers, <laughs> but I am told that our duck, has, wait for it, has opted, this is our duck, has yep. opted for germination by Oral oh. acceptance in oh. simple terms, Billy, down the throat embryonic <laughs> activation style. Oh, no. Yes, oh, the no. duck is on GT38 long range, short acting, hair stimulating <laughs> supplement. <laughs> Billy, more commonly known as yes. hairy tablets. Oh. <laughs> now, we all know uh, that uh, the duck really, well, he enjoys himself. <laughs> he really does. Yes, the king is way ahead of himself. I have recently been informed, well, with the hairy tablets and all, and uh, desperately seeking some feather regermination. <laughs> now also just coming to hand is the news that Duck at his local heavy house bill, oh. gymnasium, oh, yes. <laughs> all right. the gym. has demanded and received a corner of the gym which has been named... King's Corner. (laughs) Embarrassing behaviour. Now, Casey's Corner has obliquely opposite mirrors combined with a prism uh, reverse mirror, ensuring the duck can see himself from all angles (laughs) at all times. This, coupled with a brand new set of gold-plated dumbbells, is just all about you, duck. Is that (laughs) true? True. That is categorically true. The first part of the... uh, this, your story there is true. I've been on those tablets for a very long time. Uh, the hairy tablets. Brian, they're uh, called Prosca. <laughs> so if uh, any chemist out there wants to give them to me for free, uh, no worries. Mm. But uh, you'll find that most AFL footballs... Now, th- the three of us can't talk too much about hair, and I'll get to that in a minute Stone, also. Mate. You two, uh, there's a lot of AFL footballs now, mm. because it's been approved, are on the same medication so that they don't lose their hair. Now, listen, don't. Now, this is not a rug like Geordie Lewis who's just stuck a pot. <laughs> <laughs> on his head and Jordy. put shoe polish through it. Jordy. This isn't a, is this isn't a case of David Never Hale that Kelly. just got a dead cat and shoved it on his head with a now, bit of glue. Now look, this is Doug, completely different. You are ahead of yourself. You have yes. been for a long time and no one has ever told you. Yes. No one has ever had the guts oh. to tell you. I'm telling you that you are. And you need to crawl down from your little platform. You, JB, don't you sit there and bloody oh, oh, laugh yeah. at me either because what? I, it's come to my hand. I that, can't be touched. That you, and you've only got to listen to you. Just the way you talk about uh, footy and exactly. stuff recently. It's, oh, you shouldn't play an half forward. Frankie's not a good enough runner. That's it. I'm bringing proper He's, uh, information left foot around to the right. show. JB, you've got no idea. Now, now just think of the don't sports you laughing, that you know. Dude. You know, hockey, darts, table tennis, snooker, you name it. Uh, You've played all of them, but that's it. But look, when you're commenting on the top shelf stuff, come on, you must have been a top shelfer in that uh, in that role. So, for example, you know, to be a footy expert in the top shelf, the platinum category, you know, Duck two premierships, uh, Dermot five premierships, Dunstall five premierships, Malthouse, you know, four premierships. Yes, Uh, you you must have been adjudicating at that level to, you know, to be. Where are you going with this? Now, now, look, I am, uh, you know. 
Duck recently judged. When was it the Norm Smith medal you did, Duck? Uh, was uh, that a couple of years ago? A couple of years ago. Well, yeah. that's right because he's a premiership player and he's highly qualified and he's yeah, spot on. All that. Spot on. And you know, it, it has come to my attention that what? The Anzac Day is upon us. Yes. <laughs> I have no. been told. No. What? Surely not. No Duck. No Dermot for the Anzac judging of the medal. No Jason Dunstall. Yes. No Ron Barassi. Mm. But judging <laughs> the Anzac <laughs> no. Day medal will be James Brayshaw. And only, oh, only no. as it should be. Now, no. this coupled oh, with the private jet... It was an jet, honour to be asked. Oh. This coupled with the private jet to Tasmania <laughs> yeah, that's it. last week is Where nothing short of disgraceful. <laughs> now, uh, uh, there's just one correction. What? It's yep. not actually the full-on Collingwood Day Essendon. medal. Colling- it's the day before. It's the, uh, <laughs> no, it's the, it's not, a, it's the no, not, it's not really Anzac medal. <laughs> no, it's not the day before even. It's about three days before. Oh, Shut up, Fat. It's, it's this Saturday night. It's the Peter Babco. It, it's actually tonight. It's tonight. It's tonight. <laughs> Don't you start it's speaking. tonight. <laughs> Shut up. You're actually judging tonight. Geelong and Port Adelaide. Oh, oh that's, <laughs> that's, that's way you down the ladder. So far ahead of yourself, JB. You've got your you've got your oh. nose right up your ring. And I tell you yes. what, you I'm need with to you, bro. get it out and have a good showering because no. it's a disgraceful oh, behaviour. Has this all happened since he's gone back to Channel Seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And not Give only me that, the votes. So I walk Put and I'm sitting, on the map. I'm yeah, sitting at the boardroom table at Channel Seven the other day, just a few oh, uh, honchos oh. around, and uh, guess who swaggers in yeah. 15 minutes late as if. Oh. That's normal and allowed. Well, it is normal and allowed. JB Walsh is in and announced him. Sorry, I'm late. I've, I've uh, been uh, in other meetings. Traffic. Ha- have, had an important meeting, traffic. he said. The well, Burnley what could be Cullen. more important than your current employer? There's also, there's also someone else in the box here that is uh, just thinks he's uh, looking better than what he actually looks, BT, because yeah. there's only two men in this box that should be going to one of the Biggest, best hairdressers on Two Rack Road, oh, oh. Joey Scandese. Oh. They're oh, on, no. So all the uh, oh, high flying yes. Two Rack uh, yeah, South yeah, Yarra yeah. women and all the uh, all the toffs, yeah. you know, yeah. men or, or if you've got a, if you've got a lot of hair, Melbourne <laughs> housewife. For instance, if yeah. you haven't got a lot of hair, and I'm put my hand up, I yeah. go and see a friend of mine, Kate, who runs, uh, you know, uh, right. she used to run Man What a Fuss and that yeah. sort of stuff, and oh. does ammo no. and whatever. So like, I, this isn't a plastic. Just, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a local. So no, it is a which one of us? Which one of us? <laughs> would go in there and sit in there and yeah. sit oh. under a blow dryer and oh. get a little, just a little bit of a colouring. Well, and someone with hair. We're ta- yeah, we're talking about a good hour and a half session. Oh. Joey Scandese, oh. none oh. other <laughs> than Gogglebox here. Oh. <laughs> and, no. He was sitting in there and then sat oh. on one of, you know, one of those hair dryer things you sit oh. under just oh. to yeah. dry it all that off. That was to oh. dry the dye. <laughs> <laughs> Fluff it up hey. a bit. No. Is that true? I have been going there. <laughs> Duck, not only uh, this is, as we're talking about getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. It's come to me, Bristol. No, the Friday night I can't team. Work with you guys. Anymore. This is the Friday night <laughs> Triple M team, who I think, as a unit, oh. have got themselves way, in a, ahead. A, a, well, way ahead of where they're actually positioned. We yeah. like each other for starters, but which it's, is different it's to the Saturday. My <laughs> understanding, Bristol, that there's a game coming up in Geelong. Oh, this is true. Yep. A game coming up in Geelong mm. where, as a group, mm. they thought it was appropriate. Ooh. To charter a helicopter oh, no, to no. take them down oh. to Geelong and back. Who was the charteree? Well, I, the, the bit I heard, I, I thought, well, I can imagine Chris Judd being involved in that uh, type yeah. of discussion oh, no. because that's yeah. where he's at. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Naif Brown, it would disappoint me, but uh, uh, nah. It, it, nah, he'd be there. Luke Darcy, a well, man who's taken a got chopper formed. to Werribee, <laughs> so he is a disgracefully uh, head of gloves. himself uh, yeah. unit. The one that interested me, though, was Damien Barrett, oh, who yeah. I understand, Bristol, was a driver oh. of the conversation. Oh, yeah. Instigator. We shouldn't Please. have to drive down there that hour, <laughs> that painful hour to Geelong. We should get a chopper. Uh, Damo, it was only two years ago, mate, you're doing the VFA as a sort of a... <laughs> yeah, well, you, you didn't speak to me when, I, when you were coach of the VFA and, back in 19, and was and it 91. And all of a sudden you're wanting to rig up bloody yeah. micro-flight helicopters. I mean, That's what it. is wrong with you? That's it. What I, is wrong with you, man? Real cocks, mate. Damo. As much as I'd like to put myself under the bus on that matter. I'm not instigating it, but uh, Jim's mail is actually right. Someone Bristol, in that crew. They, they think they need a chopper. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you different what? from us on are Saturday? We, are, we, we, um, are we just polling on here today in the oh, first segment? Well, we there, need to clear the air. Yeah. Yeah. Right. This is the difference between us and the flotsam and jetsam <laughs> next to us <laughs> well, who can't stand each other and never speak to each other. Beyond. What we do is clean this stuff up on air. Well, maybe you should turn it back on yourself, Jim. Well, I've got, uh, well, I can't cop enough. <laughs> Bristol's just given me five of his best minutes. But realise anyway. that Instagram's not for 52-year-olds. 
Oh, don't worry. Yeah. I'm global. Oh, I'm no, trending. I've had a gutful. I'm going home. <laughs> You've got a pride. I know this is a sad day, Rub, but what about the midweek rub, Jim, that we oh, do yeah. with these two? Brian's done it twice yep. already, asked for a later time. Yes. Has it? I, I mean, want to change the I time. I want to change the time already. <laughs> well, now, there's, there's, there's no I in team, but there is in old seven. Brian. There is an iron Brian. Well, oh. it's a thing called peak hour traffic. Oh. I'd like to get home before oh. the peak you've, hour. You've done two midweek rubs right. and you're changing the time. Well, I'm not right. doing it's not your show. We need to clear that. That's it done. Oh, we're done, are we? We're <laughs> done. <laughs> and, and not what about Bill? Yeah. No. Clean skin. You got away with it, fam. Man of the people. You're just not interesting enough for anyone <laughs> to have any here stuff. There, there are just two people that need to be... They need to be suspended, Duck. Damo and our skipper, no. JB, yep. need to be suspended. No, I agree. <laughs> On the reason people listen. <laughs> <laughs> Pity you weren't calling, Paul. <laughs> I'll tell you what we got. Shut up, fat.